bring them up here today. Because of what we are witnessing already for weeks, unfortunately, this genocide taking place in Gaza, so many innocent men, women and children, mass murder, this is something that none of us should tolerate and none of us should allow in the first place and certainly not to continue we, 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 without seeing an end to what is happening. As human beings, we are standing here condemning this mass murder. As Jewish people, we are here joining you all, joining the world's outcry. And especially when all of this is being done supposedly in our name. Yeah. It's because we are Jewish people and we know what suffering is. It was our families, our communities who suffered in the Holocaust. And we don't want to see this happen to anyone. Yes. It is because we are religious Jews, and sadly, our religion is being misused to justify all these crimes. what is happening now and what, what is going on already for decades. Yes! So many people are intimidated by Zionist propaganda. So many Jewish people are seriously intimidated and they don't have the courage to come out in public. But we are raising the voice of masses of Jewish people behind us. Just recently, about two and a half weeks ago, our community in occupied Palestine and our Kurds Jerusalem went out to the march on the streets of Jerusalem with Palestinian flags expressing their solidarity with Palestine. Guess what happened? Guess what happened? They were attacked, arrested. The synagogue was vandalized. Scholars were dragged out on the street in the middle of the studies. This, this is what happens to our people. Nobody should ever think that the state of Israel is only committing crimes against Palestine. They are, they are oppressing whoever stands in their way, including Jewish people. Yes. All crimes committed in Palestine, not only now, but for the past over 75 years, is not only criminal according to international law. These are true crimes in Judaism. We have to remember there is a great difference between Judaism and Zionism. Judaism is a religion, a religion only, no politics to it, versus Zionism. The philosophy behind the state of Israel, which is a purely political movement and should never be confused. The Zionist propaganda wants you to believe. The Zionist movement wants the world to believe that all Jews support Israel and that the Jewish religion condones all that Israel stands for. Why? 
Why do they want to have you say so? Because they want to criticize whoever speaks up against these crimes that supposedly they are anti-Semitic. We should know better than that. We should not allow that accusation. Crimes being committed for such a long time. It happens to be embarrassingly enough that these crimes are done by some people of Jewish descent. I'm embarrassed, but we should stand up and condemn it. We should stand up. We have to remember. The state of Israel is not a Jewish state. It is a criminal state. You may call it a Zionist state, but never call it a Jewish state. Yes, yes, we desperately need a ceasefire. But a ceasefire is way not enough. And we have to understand if we are truly concerned for the safety and security of all, then we have to understand and realize what is the root cause of all what is happening now. We, it's not a difference of religion. We have differences of religion for the longest time, and Jewish people live in peace in Palestine. were respected and protected by the majority of Muslims. Why? Because we were brotherly in peace and harmony until this political movement of Zionism came in, misrepresented the Jewish people and destroyed that peace that did exist. the cause to the problem and we have to stop this occupation of Palestine in its entirety. We pray to Almighty God that this stops soon and we hope this stops peacefully with no more suffering of anyone. We had enough, so many lives lost. So much Nakba, so much catastrophe, enough is enough. We are pleading with Canada, we are pleading with the United States, we are pleading with the world over. Please stop this bloodshed. Once this occupation will stop, once this obstacle to peace will stop, once this cause to bloodshed will stop, we can hope to see once again that beautiful peace that did exist in Palestine. Let's hope that this will be the future soon in our days.
we are so disturbed and so pained by what is going on this genocide taking place in Gaza already for weeks, where we have so many innocent men, women and children being mass murdered, which is unacceptable that every righteous person the world over has to start, stand up and condemn and do everything we can to stop what is happening. But it's because we are Jewish people, we are even way more pained by what is being done supposedly in our name. And sadly, our religion, the Jewish religion, is being misused to justify all these crimes. This is unacceptable. This is not the Jewish people. This is not the Jewish religion. Uh, we have masses of Jewish people worldwide who disagree, who condemn all what is taking place. And all these crimes are not only a violation of international law. These are true violations of Judaism, killing and stealing, oppressing an entire people. All of this is totally forbidden in Judaism. We have to understand that what we are seeing, what we are witnessing now, what we are witnessing for the longest time, is all these, this Nakba, this catastrophe, this suffering of so many peoples uh, involved here is not because of a difference of religion. We had differences of religion for, 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 for the longest time. Unfortunately, it's the, it's the occupation of Palestine, this brutal criminal occupation of Palestine, which is going on for over 75 years, unfortunately is causing this endless cycle of bloodshed where everyone suffers. And in order to stop this, we have to address the root cause. Unless this occupation stops in its entirety, God forbid what will continue to happen. We cannot afford more lives being lost. We cannot afford what we are seeing now. This cannot, this should not, this, this may not continue even one day, even ten minutes. Because as they say, every ten minutes a child is being killed. This is terrible. This is unacceptable. We have to stop this. We are here uh, in, in, in London. Montreal and we call out to the to the government of Canada, we call out to the world, we have to acknowledge that what is taking place is wrong, this has to stop for the sake of everyone involved. Obviously the oppressed people of Palestine should, uh, should deserve it's, it's better than they, than they unfortunately, than, than, than they're experiencing now. But it's also the Jewish people who are and who are suffering. We have so many innocent Jewish people who, have, who don't support this occupation, who, who are against this occupation. <laughs> Unfortunately, just because Netanyahu, just because the state of Israel insists to represent them, therefore they are, they are, they are becoming uh, incorporated into this country. This has to stop. We hope that this stops in its entirety, and we hope that it stops peacefully with no more suffering around. And what do you say to people who say that criticizing Israel is anti-Semitic? Not at all. <laughs> criticizing Israel is criticizing crimes. It's criticizing people who commit the crimes. Israel has nothing to do with the Jewish people. Judaism and Zionism is not one and the same. Judaism is a religion, Zionism is a political movement. The only connection the state of Israel has with Judaism is that some people from Jewish descent are running this country in total contrast to Judaism. And can you tell us a bit of history about uh, the Zionism movement? Well, the Zionist movement started by non-religious people, people who hated God and hated religion. It happens to be that the philosophy of Zionism is in total contrast of basics of, of, of Jewish belief. And it's committing so many crimes which is unacceptable in Judaism. Uh, there, there is no way that one can, can put together the two. This is like the diametric opposite. Unfortunately, Zionist propaganda manages to have people think and believe that all of this is the same. And then and why is this done? This is done on purpose because they want to silence you that if you speak up against Israel then supposedly you're criticizing all Jews or criticizing the Jewish religion. This is false, this is unacceptable, this is unfortunately leading to just more death and destruction. Thank you so much, Rabbi. You're welcome.